theme. So now we can click on customize here. And that will take us inside of the Shopify editor where we can customize everything about our store. So here in the center, we can basically see a preview of what our website currently looks like. Right now we are on the home page, as we can see here at the top. We can also switch to a product page. If you want to look at how our product page currently looks like, just like this. And then we can also switch from different devices. So right now we are on the uh, desktop version. We can also switch uh, right here at the top to the mobile version and see exactly how our store page looks like on a mobile phone, which is very important because most people nowadays are actually shopping on their mobile phone as opposed to their computer. So we can now switch back to the home page right here. And then let's go back to the desktop view. And then here on the left side, you can see an overview of all the sections that are currently on that specific page. It always starts with the header here at the top, which includes the logo that we're going to add later on and also the menu. And then all the way on the bottom, we have the footer. And then in the middle between the header and the footer, we have the different content sections. So every theme on Shopify comes with a pre-made set of sections that you can then customize. So here it starts with the rich text section right here. Then it goes to the slideshow. Then we have another rich text section. Then we have a feature collection, which you can see already has a couple of our products on it. And uh, then whenever you want to customize any of these sections, all you have to do is, is either click here on the left side or click directly onto the screen. And then on the right side, or depending on your screen size, it also opens up here on the left. You can make all the changes. So what I would recommend whenever building your site is just um, click on every single section and then just go from top to bottom through each of the menu items and see what you can do. So here, for example, we can change the location of this text to the left side uh, or we can put it back to the center. When we click on the text, we can also just change the text right here on the right side. So as you can see, it's very easy to do. Now, whenever you want to switch sections around, you can do that here on the left side. So let's say you want to have this rich text section below this slideshow section here. All we got to do is grab this section and then drag it down below the slideshow section. And then here in the middle, as you can see, you can see a, a macro overview of the page. And just like that, when we let it go, we can see it now switched. So we have the rich text section below the slideshow. So let's just put it back like this. And then um, usually you're not going to use every single section that comes with the with the pre-made set of sections with your uh, theme. So what you can do is just delete the sections that you don't want. So let's say we don't want this rich text section below the slideshow. All we got to do is click on it and then on the bottom right, we can see the remove section button. So we just click on remove section and then it is gone. Whenever you want to add sections that aren't already on your page, all you got to do is scroll down here on the left side and then click on add section right here. And then you can see the entire library of sections you can use. Here I would recommend to just um, uh, click on a couple of them to see what they have available. So let's say we want to add a feature product. We would just type in featured. Then we can see we have a feature collection section or a featured product section. So let's click on feature product right here. And then it will just add the feature product section. We can also, let's say we reposition this here to the top below, let's say the feature collection. And then we can uh, make adjustment to, to the section by just clicking on it. And then here on the right side, we can click on select product and then just select any product that we want to feature here on our homepage, just like this.